Good morning, and welcome to our Mass from the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you and your loved ones are in good health. Please check our parish website for updates and for links to devotions and other information, as well as how to continue to financially support the parish as we journey through this virus pandemic. Thank you for your continued support. Our presider today is Father Critch, and our entrance chant is number 14I in your Catholic Book of Worship, the Canticle of Mary, number 14I. celebrate a great feast day in our church that Monday after Pentecost is celebrated as Mary, Mother of the Church, Mary praying along with the Apostles at Pentecost in the center of the church. So as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries today and we offer this Mass today also for the repose of the soul of Ruth Carew, whose funeral will be here later today. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us our sins, especially the sins of omission for the times we have failed to be merciful and compassionate to other people. We pray for the forgiveness of our sins. and us forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung up on the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, 
your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her and embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus was taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm is number 223 in your Catholic Book of Worship, number 223.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother, and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clothus, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. The Gospel of the Lord. Our church today observes June 1st as the memorial of Mary, the mother of the church, in celebration of the Blessed Mother's important role as mother of the church. This memorial, celebrated on the Monday after Pentecost, Sunday, has its roots in Pope St. Paul VI and the Second Vatican Council. In the document Lumen Gentium, or the Dogmatic Constitution on the Church, Pope St. Paul VI proclaimed Mary, Mother of the Church. It was Mary who carried Jesus in her womb after saying yes, who stood by while he hung on the cross, and who was present in the upper room praying with the first Christian community awaiting the gift of the Holy Spirit for all believers. Finally, she was assumed body and soul into heaven in imitation of her son. These four moments in Mary's life exemplify her close participation in the mysteries of the life of her son. Mary understood better than anyone the benefits of being united in the mysteries of Christ. Mary desires that all people receive what she received, so she works through the church to give her son to us. Pope Francis, who first declared this special memorial in 2018, said, and I quote, With the Holy Spirit, Mary is always present in the midst of the people. She joined the disciples in praying for the coming of the Holy Spirit, and thus made possible the missionary outburst which took place at Pentecost. She is the mother of the Church, which evangelizes, and without her we could never truly understand the spirit of the new evangelization. End of quote. Just as the Holy Spirit caused Christ to find a home in Mary at the Annunciation, he also caused the body of Christ, the church, to be born around the heart of Mary at Pentecost. Jesus comes to us through Mary, and we go to Jesus through Mary. Mary is a part of Jesus' mission from the beginning, from the moment she said yes to the angel, carrying Jesus in her womb, presenting him in the temple, all those things, raising him up with Joseph in the household of Nazareth, Mary was there with the apostles when Jesus began his earthly ministry, especially at the wedding feast of Cana, from the first miracle. She listened to his teaching and witnessed all his miracles, which witnessed his miracles. And when he was betrayed and abandoned, she stood by him at the foot of the cross so that he would not die alone. As we heard in the, first re- in the reading today, all of the apostles devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with Mary, the mother of Jesus. So Mary was and still is the heart, at the heart of the church, the mother of the family of God. So Mary is a hugely significant presence in her own personal faith life too. She is one of Jesus' great gifts to us, to accompany us on our life journey as a helpful and supportive presence. She prays for us not just at the hour of our death, but here and now in the concrete circumstances and the joys and the challenges of our daily lives. Mary still opens her arms to us with tender love to give us comfort and guidance. Today in the Gospel, we hear hear how the disciple took Mary into his own home. And that is what Jesus wants for you and me. Jesus wants us to take Mary into our hearts and our homes. Together we ask Mary to intercede for us and help us to grow in faith and to do, do the will of God in our lives as she did. So today is a good day to remind ourselves that Mary is there as mother for us through all, all our lives and that her primary role is to lead her, us to her son Jesus, who is our way and our truth and our life. Our prayers of intercession, we ask our Heavenly Father to hear and answer all the prayers in our hearts today. We pray for Holy Father Pope Francis, our Archbishop Peter, and for all the church community that they may be empowered by the Holy Spirit to witness to the love of Christ for all through our mercy and compassion for one another. We pray to the Lord. We pray for a spirit of unity in our world community that the Spirit of God may help us to overcome all racism, intolerance and division that separate peoples and cultures and strengthen us to recognize 
each person as a sister and brother in Christ. We pray to the Lord. That all people of goodwill may assist those most impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick, that the healing power of the Holy Spirit may be upon them, we pray to the Lord. And for all our recently deceased, we pray especially today for Ruth Carew. We also pray for James Pinn, and for all who mourn the loss of their loved ones, we pray to the Lord. In the quiet of our hearts, we remember our own special intention today at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the grace and blessings you bring us every day. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Pray for us and pray, our brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in our virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received a testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ are born to eternal life. As the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples, and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other now the sign of peace. Bye. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter my room, room but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn, number 6.6 .6 in your celebrated song, One Love Released. 6.6. .6. One red, one body, one cloud, one call, one faith, one spirit, present in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one peace. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Our prayer to Mary for help and protection during the pandemic. O Mary, Mary you always shine, shine on our path as a sign of, of salvation and of hope. hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that as in Cana of Galilee we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings, and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Please bow your heads now for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. You too, Father. Our missioning hymn, number 463A, Immaculate Mary, number 463.